Hey, what's up, folks? Brock here from my workbench, aka my parents' patio table. And it's been a while since I've done a video. I think I will put this out on YouTube because it'll be worth it. I've done videos on cracking figures open before, but this is actually the first time I'm doing uh, an Omega Red body. And uh, from what I hear, it can be problematic for paint rub. So I did decide to crack this figure open and I wanted to show you what it looks like inside. So when you go and work on an Omega Red, you kind of already have a, a, at least a visual of, of what it looks like in the interior. So uh, in the past, I've shown you how to crack figures. This one was uh, uh, kind of medium difficulty. I, I drilled the, the four holes, one here on the, uh, or two on the, on the traps. And then I, I drilled a hole in the opposite side of the abdomen area so I could pry it apart. Once I got it pried apart, this is what it'll look like inside for you. There's a, uh, a, a post right through the middle of the chest uh, connecting the figure and then all these other, there's four points where the figure's um, connected and they do it with glue. Some of them will snap off as, as you work through cracking the torso but anyway once you get it uh, cracked open here's our points that you want to pay attention to when you go to drill obviously when you're drilling in the top you don't want to drill and I got close look how close I got to you know messing this one up I drilled here and I could have I could have uh, drilled into the butterfly and that could have uh, potentially been, become problematic fortunately it didn't uh, hurt here's the opposite side and uh, there you go this one I got really close you don't want to damage any of these pegs so just take a visual here maybe take a photograph if you're gonna go crack it and just go you need to be uh, maybe a little bit higher than that what I uh, went here to crack and then the other point you want to be careful when you're drilling is that you definitely don't want to drill into these pegs because that will harm your articulation so uh, with this one you do kind of want to go higher on the uh, the lats here to to drill your hole all right once you get these apart then another thing that I'm starting to do with my figures and other customizers have done this is I, I, I'm taking the uh, the ball joint or excuse me the shoulder joints out I'm getting attacked by flies out here and the way you do that is, I, I, I like heating up the area. I have a heat gun. You can use a, a hair dryer or you can, you know, drop it in some boiling water. And then I take a, my X-Acto knife. Let's say we can do it with this one right here. Once it's been heated up, and then you want to go into this area and then cut closest to, just, just push towards the disc hinge and you wanna slice all the way down and that's how I got it there. I think it would've been better if I would've gotten a little bit closer to the inside, but then I was able to heat it up and pop off the shoulder, which gives me access to the butterfly joint. And now I'm able to make a, I'm off camera, I'm able to use my Dremel and Dremel down the disc hinge right here taking off some plastic and I'm also able to to take some of the plastic on the inside portion because I'd imagine that uh, you know this part can also cause some friction so I want to take some off inside and again we'll see how how uh, good the uh, the joint prep goes along or the for paint rub goes on this figure then I started taking it off some from the shoulder joint then I moved on over here. I dremeled off the inside, all this cavity area right here. How about I do it in camera? All this right here got uh, dremeled down a bit and then sanded. And then I also sanded in here on these areas that could potentially cause the shoulder pockets to anything that could cause friction. And then I do it to the back side, and then I'll move on to the figure, but looking at this, this is the right shoulder hinge. Another thing that you wanna test, just 
put the figure back together and I'm trying to do this. Let me try to see if I can get it on camera. I didn't really set the camera. I was going to do this on Instagram. And then I go, oh, I'll put out a YouTube video. Why not? I'll put them out in both places. And then you just kind of want to see. And I've already dremeled off some of this area. If any points cause friction. And I, I can kind of feel some friction. So I'm going to you see where it's hitting right there. I'm going to just very slowly dremel off some of that part right there and then also up here you can see it can cause friction so uh, this is gonna be my Thunderball so this is gonna be green green and yellow but this so this I, th I believe this area for him is gonna be green and going from red to green that's a significant change and if I don't handle that point of friction it's really gonna cause some is issues and paint will rub off. And from what I'm hearing from some of these other customizers that have done uh, worked on this figure, that this this figure can be fairly pesky. Uh, I'm also gonna I'm gonna dremel along this side right here. I may dremel off something right here. I'm gonna test to see if there's any friction going on. Uh, I may do it here as well because I, I I will focus on this area because that's the area that uh, that this will hinge on. And then moving down everything right here we, we've seen before. I'm going to Dremel here. I'm going to Dremel here. I'm going to Dremel all the all the hinges, etc. You've seen uh, past videos. So there is Omega Red, and I hope that is helpful. And uh, follow me on Instagram, Life with Brock, if you want to see the progress, uh, the works in progress for this figure. I did just finish a bulldozer, and uh, it looks pretty nice, guys. Go check it out. All right, catch you on the next one. Peace. Time.